NASA once again has its sights set on the moon and will launch its most powerful spacecraft yet on Monday. Right now you're taking a live look at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida where the most powerful rocket will launch. It's an unpiloted mission called Artemis 1. We're very excited about yes, that. We are. The mission will explore the shadowy lunar south pole for the first time. CBS 8's Jenny Day live in the newsroom with details on the mission. Jenny. Yes, good evening. Artemis is the new chapter in space exploration, and astronauts want to go because they believe water may be there. It's been almost 50 years since our mission to the moon, but NASA is ready to go back and even beyond. Now, weather permitting, Artemis 1 will blast off from Florida Monday morning and travel 40,000 miles during its 42-day mission. This will be a robotic flight with no crew on board, but humans will go in 2024. Now, with the possibility of finding water, astronauts can spend more time there and then ultimately use that resource to reach the surface of Mars. It actually tells us about the history of the solar system. Uh, that water could be trapped there from comets throughout the history of the solar system, so we can study it, uh, but we might also be able to use it. We can use the water um, as a resource for ourselves, break it down into hydrogen and oxygen for, for fuel and breathing. Uh, so this is why we want to go to the South Polar region. So interesting. So three mannequins will ride aboard Artemis One to simulate what humans might experience. Data from their sensors will reveal how much vibration they experience as well as radiation exposure. A lot has been made on the cost of this mission. The price tag for this launch is $4 billion. $93 billion is expected to be spent by 2025. Artemis One is then set to land close to us just off the coast of Southern California on October 10th. By the way, if you're a fan of Greek mythology, Artemis was the twin sister of Apollo. Live in the newsroom, Jenny Day, CBS 8. Artemis to the moon as Apollo was to the sun. I'm excited to see how it works. I love it. Hopefully the weather is good on Monday and they get to make that launch. Definitely. Thanks, Jenny.